software engineer, a pilot, a father, a son, a mother, a daughter. In the mix of all these labels, we sometimes lose our identity. Hello and welcome to Living It Up. I'm Jyotika Segal and on the show this week. On Living It Up this week, how tough is it for a young Kashmiri Muslim to survive the city? Tariq Dar was branded a terrorist. I felt like I have lost myself, you know, in between the Tariq who is a raw gen, the Tariq who is Muslim. And Megha Mamgin kicks off her campaign to lose weight with kickboxing. A young Kashmiri Muslim boy rises to the heights of stardom only to fall to the very depths of hell just because of a case of mistaken identity. Tariq Ahmed Dar survived being labelled a terrorist and much more. Being in Kashmir is wonderful itself. What? We used to play hide and seek with my friends and cousins. We used to steal apples from the apple garden, you know. I think this is the only crime I have committed, I would say. I, I never realized that, you know, the steps I'm taking towards my home are going to take, you know, mujhe ऐसे अंधेरे की तरफ लेके जाएंगे जो शायद मैंने अपने बुरे से बुरे सपने में भी नहीं सोचा होगा। Twenty people came and they put you in the car and they go, you know, and they don't listen to you and and all I could think like for next two three hours like I was feeling that I'm being kidnapped. It took little time for the young Kashmiri boy, Tariq Ahmed Dar, to turn into a billboard frenzy. After moving to Bangladesh to settle his father's thriving Kashmiri handicraft business, Tariq's chance encounter with flashbulbs also got him immense success in Dhaka's film circle. From walking the ramps for top designers to being crowned Mr. Dhaka, life was unfolding like a fairy tale until... A date that watched his identity, scarred his existence. The young model was picked up by Dhaka's rapid action force, a special wing of Bangladesh's intelligence on suspicion of being a raw agent. Two lashkar e men had been arrested in Delhi. The men had told the cops of a Kashmiri boy, Tariq Dar, who had been mobilizing men and funds in Pakistan and Bangladesh for the lashkar e Tariq just happened to share the name. After his arrest, Tariq was kept under detention for 45 days and was slapped with charges of possessing a fake passport and human trafficking. In those 45 days, I haven't seen daylight. I mean, it was just those, those two walls and that iron gate I have seen. And with my handcuff, the hand, uh, always handcuffed. While I was in Dhaka, I think one of the happiest moments uh, I had there, you know, uh, was teaching uh, some orphan kids. How do you write? How do you write? How do you write? How do you They had seen me in the newspapers, in the TV, and actually, like, you know, when they used to see me in their classroom, they used to be so happy and they used to tell me, okay, you know, we see you today there and we see you there, you know, that billboard. So it was, it was, obviously it was a great feeling. Ringa, ringa, roses, pocket full of gold. I really miss those kids. I, I really wish I, I could, you know, meet them again and see how they are doing. 